so a little earlier you mentioned that as we interact we there are these kind of portals to the conscious states of other conscious agents there's a whole range of um kind of transpersonal experiences people have that are very profound that that we currently don't yes. have very good explanations for um you know near-death experiences psychedelics like dmt people have these entity encounters in your worldview, yes. that seems it seems to be relatively trivial to account for these things, right? They seem like genuine peaks beyond our everyday interface mm -hmm. into what's going on underneath. Y yes, it, so I'll be very, very careful here. The the framework that I'm proposing absolutely allows that these could be genuine. Absolutely allows. It it allows that there are boundless forms of conscious experience and agency outside of human experience. Boundless. On the other hand, any particular report that anybody gives to me, as a scientist, I will be, of course, skeptical in, in the appropriate way. Not nasty, not nasty or anything like that, but skeptical in the sense that, of course, we could be making this stuff up. Some of these may not be genuine insights into me. So I'm, I'm claiming that there are countless other agents out there of, of endless varieties. Whether anybody else has actually seen them is a different story, right? So I, I believe that um, human beings can run the four-minute mile, but when any, if any bloke tells me he's just run the four-minute mile, you know, I may not believe him, right? It's that kind of thing. So I, in principle, it's true that, it, that it's possible. So, so it's, it's that kind of balance that I want to strike. My framework, unlike a physicalist framework, the physicalist framework says absolutely not, right? There's, there's just not possible. Um, these things are just um, the brain, going through unusual forms of chemical processing and it's all an illusion it's it's at, at best they're, they're definitely not insights my framework allows that they're insights but it doesn't dictate that any particular one is you know that science still needs to be on the guard for on each count and look for each one and, and test them the but this does raise the issue of um parapsychological kinds of experiments and, and phenomena right and a lot of people assume that I, I, I just believe the parapsychological reports. And my attitude is, is a little different. And by the way, I'm, I'm very good friends with, with many people who do this, this research. I mean, I'm, and they're smart people, they're wonderful people. So these are my friends and colleagues. And I've spoken at their conferences and, and I've hung out with them and so forth. My, my attitude is what they seem to be, most of them seem to be thinking is there is this machine, there's a space-time machine, there's the laws of physics. And that, that most of everyday behavior is explained by the machine, but there's also a ghost in the machine. There is a ghost. And if we do these really careful experiments, and we may have to run thousands of trials, in the third decimal place, we will find evidence that that the ghost can do something, right? The laws of physics do 99% of it, but there's still a ghost. And, and, they, and if we do a careful enough experiment, the ghost is, is, is pretty wimpy, it's, it's, it's pretty weak, but if you do a careful experiment, you can find evidence for it. Now, now my attitude is entirely different. There is no machine. Space-time is not fundamental. The laws of physics are not fundamental. This is just a user interface. Consciousness is everything. It's not a little wimpy ghost in the machine, it's the whole story. And what we call the laws of physics in space-time is our representation in our little user interface of how consciousness works. If it turned out that all parapsychological experiments failed, that would be no problem for me. I don't need a little wimpy ghost in the machine. The ghost is everything. What we call the machine is just our user interface description of how the ghost works. So I don't need parapsychological phenomena to work at all. If they do work, that's fine because it might mean, okay, this shows that there are certain glitches in our interface. I can, I can allow that there are glitches in the interface that it's not perfect, but it may be that there aren't too many glitches in the interface. And, and maybe uh, despite their best efforts, my, my good friends in parapsychology will not get compelling evidence. Does that mean we have to give give up on consciousness? Not at all, not at all. So so nothing hangs for me on the you know success of the parapsychological. Nothing at all hangs on it. If they all fail, 
no problem. Consciousness is, is still absolutely fundamental.